Okay, so this app is uh, by Dr. Gary Brown, and this is another one in the series of the Discrete Trial Training series, and this is about letters. Um, let's read a little bit from the top here. This app uses uh, DTT to help your child learn the letters of the alphabet, A to Z, and to learn the difference between upper and lowercase letters. The letters can be viewed in a simple sans serif font, serif font, or handwritten print font, or a cursive font. Um, DTT is not a child's game, it's a therapy based on years of scientific research. DTT is a primary teaching method used in ABA to teach numerous pre-academic and social skills to children with autism. The app can also be used to teach the letters of the alphabet to children with autism, attention deficit disorder, attention deficit hyperactive disorder, or any child who has trouble staying on a task. Uh, so lots of information here and and you can click on to many more things and you can join them on Facebook and see much more about these kind of programs but you've got a couple of apps like this uh, by Gary uh, Dr. Gary Brown on the site already so let's go ahead and open this up and uh, for those that are familiar with the previews before uh, or the reviews before I should say uh, it's very similar very s the same kind of uh, setup you enter the child's name and we'll enter my son Ben uh, who's on the spectrum and um, we have lots of different settings we have the maximum time trial of 60 interval between we've got it set at 2 and cards we've got it set at 6 the fade button we've got on you can turn that off now the time trial is uh, how long the child has to figure out the problem uh, we've got it set at 60 seconds you can change that anywhere from you know, a few seconds to 60 uh, interval trial between questions. We've got it two seconds purely for demonstration purposes only. You'd probably want to make that a few seconds longer uh, to give the child a break of answering questions. And cards we've got set at six. Now uh, what I want to do is uh, actually go back and change this to um, two cards just for the first demonstration. Uh, we have three different types of cards. Sans serif uh, simple sans serif, simple serif and hand printed and um, hand cursive and what we'll do is we'll click on practice letters and have a look at these so simple sans serif let's have a look this is what it's like in uppercase this is what it's like in lowercase so typical computer layout we can look at this in dark and light so if we look at it in light mode it looks like that with a light background uh, for the demonstration purposes, we're just going to keep it in dark, but you can do that throughout the program and when you're doing a demonstration. Go back out. Let's look at simple serif. So you see slightly different. Same with lowercase. And again, light and dark. Let's go back out and look at hand printed. Okay, slightly different, uh, very a uh, little bit unique uh, in the way these are written. Someone with a with an ink pen looks like they've written things like this. Um, let's go back out and let's look at cursive, which is probably the hardest one of these to uh, get to grips with. But this is an idea of cursive in uppercase, in lowercase, with a light background. Okay, so you get the idea of all of those. Um, so let's go back out. For demonstration, we're just going to keep it on simple sans serif. And what we're going to do is you're going to put the letter in on the left side here that the child wants to learn. Uh, you can do this demonstration by letter. So any of the letters from A to, A to Z in uppercase or lowercase. And you can give incorrect answers in uppercase or lowercase. So for demonstration purposes, what we're going to do is we're just going to click all of the uppercase letters are correct. Uh, as you can see on here, I just want to make sure I go through this and uncheck the um, lowercase ones. So let's actually go up to all uppercase like this. Let's just make sure we've got all of these unchecked. And then on the right hand side, the incorrect letter is going to be the lowercase letters. Okay, so all of the incorrect answers are going to be in lowercase. Um, 
Now I haven't played with this. When you obviously when you open this up, you're going to have to adjust it accordingly to what it is you want your child to learn. But when you click on view the log, you can see that at 8:38 tonight on this date, uh, Ben was testing the uppercase alphabet against the lowercase alphabet, and he got 90% right. Um, and this keeps a log of how you do and how you uh, accomplish the tasks in this app. Uh, but let's go ahead and start this so you can see how it works. And I'll come back and change the letter, the uh, the card types as we go through it. So let's start this. You can see the timer counted down. Uppercase Z from two seconds in between the questions. So this was the first question. We've got it set at two cards, so you can see the two cards on the screen. We've got 60 seconds to answer the question. We're at 47, 46, 45, and we're on number one of 10. Okay, we can change it to the light background. We're going to keep it on the dark background. It said uppercase Z. You would hope the child yes. clicks on the right one. And we'll do a couple like this, and then uppercase we'll change the letters. X. Right. Uppercase Q. Okay, so we also have a fade button, which is located up here. Now, if I press that fade button, watch what happens to the Q. Uppercase Q. Okay, it becomes slightly larger to, to highlight to the child that this is the one you should be pressing. So it's a little bit of a hint. Correct. Uh, that will Way be marked down as something that they needed assistance on, but it will still be marked correct if they if they press it after that. Uppercase P. Right. Okay. So let's go back to the menu. Let's change it to hand printed. Uppercase S. Correct. Uppercase Y. Correct. You are so smart. Okay, let's go back out again. And let's look at uh, the hardest one of these, which is the cursive. Uppercase S. Correct. You are so smart. Uppercase W. Good job. Uppercase A. Correct. Way to go. And we're just going to finish uppercase this trial. T. Let's get a couple Incorrect. wrong. Incorrect. Try again. Just so I can show you the uh, results at the end. Uppercase F. Right. Cool beans. And again, you can change the uh, screen. Uppercase X. Correct. I knew you could do it. Uppercase C. Wrong. Try again. Uppercase and You can see T. here we've got so many correct and we're on trial number 8 of 10. Yes. Uppercase R. Good job. Uppercase V. Incorrect. Try again. Okay, so end of block of trials. You got 7 out of 10, which equals 70% with one prompted. Now, when you go into view log, it shows up here. We got 70% uh, on that type of trial, the alphabet uppercase against lowercase. You can clear that if you want, and you can go back. So you can do many things. You can either use this to learn uh, uppercase differences against lowercase, in many different formats, the sans serif, simple sans serif, hand printed and cursive, or you could actually do it against learning the alphabet. So you could make the letter A the letter that they need to learn, and you could give them uh, many options of uh, different letters down the side. So for example, if we increase the number of cards uh, here, let's say to five, and what we want to do is, um, Uh, let's say we want to learn the letter A and all of the letter case, all of the lower letter cases. Well, no, let's clear that. Let's say against that we have B, D, E, and F. And if we start that, let's watch what happens. Uppercase A. So he's trying to learn the letter A. Okay, so on this setting, which is the handwritten one or the handwriting one, he would Good have to job. pick out the A. Now let's do another one. Uppercase A. 
Okay, so you can see the cards we've got on there, five cards. He's still trying to learn A. You could just have it with A and B if you want. Very simple to set up. You just click off these other letters. So B is the only one. Let's go back. Uppercase A. There's obviously some others highlighted in the program which we didn't go down, but you can see what I mean. So the A is the one we want to learn. Uh, Incorrect. We can click the wrong Keep one trying. and you'll, you'll see what happens. Let's go back out and see if we can find that one. There it is. Let's take it off. Now hopefully we'll just get A and B. Uppercase A. Okay, so he's learning A against B. Uh, so this is a way to learn the alphabet. So he would basically Good job. do this way ten, to go. ten times. You get two seconds Upper in between, a. and so on. So you get the idea. If you're not sure, press Upper fade. Case, It'll highlight. A. Go back to the menu, and go back to the intro. And this was a uh, demonstration of uh, Dr. Gary Brown's discrete trial training, all about letters.